from an evolutionary standpoint, the strategy of mimicry and overcoming mimicry is a debate that's really been going on for a very, very long time, going back all the way to Henry Walter Bates, who really first detected uh, evidence for mimicry in these butterflies in the Amazon, where we have model butterflies that, that are basically poisonous, and so they're avoided, avoided by predators who can use their coloration patterns as an indication to, as a warning signal to stay away from them. And mimic butterflies that actually don't encode a poison at all, but take advantage of this coloration pattern and mimic the coloration pattern to take all the advantages of avoidance from predators without having to actually encode any of the toxins that are required. Now this is actually quite a really great strategy for the mimic. It's not so good for the model because as the mimics start increasing in frequency and the predators start eating more and more butterflies that look like this but are quite tasty, they will lose their avoidance of the predators, which means that the success of the mimic is directly inversely correlated with the success of the model.